G'day, my name's Brian from Beijing Tech. We're gonna look at this Zeus ROG Zephyrus Dual 16. It's a 16 inch dual screen gaming laptop. Now this is not the very first dual screen that's come on the channel. I've actually reviewed another dual screen, which is also from Zeus, and that is the ZenBook Dual Pro. Now, this one here is more geared towards gaming, whereas the ZenBook was geared more towards your business and office productivity work. And so this one has a few more features aimed at gaming. And as for the dual screen, you can pretty much check that ZenBook video out on what my thoughts of the dual screen functionality. And I can definitely give you a little hint, it's pretty positive. Now, as always, I will be putting timestamps along this video so you can skip to different sections that you may be interested to save you time. The Dual 16 houses the new AMD Ryzen 6000 mobile processor and has also the discrete graphics that can go all the way up to the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 Ti. It's quite powerful this machine it can be. As for the temperatures and fan noise, when I put the computer on load, I found most of the heat is located just between the keyboard and the second screen. It's pretty much where that little window strip is. When I took my measurement, my ambient temperature was 17 degrees Celsius and the ambient room noise was 36 decibels. And before I give you numbers, as always, your average hand is anywhere between 33 to 34 degrees Celsius. I took my base measurement when the computer was idle and the hottest area on the keyboard was 31 degrees Celsius. And as for the fan noise, it stayed at 36 decibels, so practically quiet, and the average internal core temperature was 36 degrees Celsius. Then I put 20% load on the computer, that's pretty much average use of tasks like office productivity work, streaming video, surfing the web, and the hottest area on the keyboard measured in at a maximum of 35 degrees Celsius. And as for the fan noise, it also stayed at 36 decibels, so still practically quiet, and the average internal core temperature was 57 degrees Celsius. Then I put 50% load on the computer and the hottest area on the keyboard measured in a maximum of 37 degrees Celsius. As for the fan noise, it spun up to a maximum of 39 decibels. An average internal core temperature was 66 degrees Celsius. Then I put 100% load in performance mode and the hottest area on the keyboard measured in a maximum of 43 degrees Celsius. And as for the fan noise, it spun up all the way up to 47 decibels. And the average internal core temperature was 76 degrees Celsius. While the computer was on 100% load, I put it into turbo mode and the hottest area on the keyboard measured a maximum of 44 degrees Celsius. As for the fan noise, it went all the way up to a maximum of 53 decibels. And the average internal core temperature was 79 degrees Celsius. I also measured the bottom back cover and the highest area on the bottom measured in a maximum of 42 degrees Celsius. Considering that we got a GeForce RTX 3080 Ti graphics in this and looking at the temperatures, this is actually doing extremely well. Now again, the most of the temperature is near above the keyboard, so you really won't be feeling this if you're typing on the computer, but I really wouldn't be putting this on your lap while this computer is on load still. There are six speakers in the Dual 16. When I tested out the maximum volume of the speakers, it managed to measure it in a peak of 86.9 decibels, which I consider pretty decently loud. So you shouldn't have any issues if you're in an outdoor environment. With the sound quality of the speakers, we do have a good amount of bass. And that is also including the low frequency bass, which you don't see very often in laptops. So that's a surprising factor there. And we have a very nice balance between the highs, mids, and lows. And we have a very decent clarity and acoustics coming from these speakers. This is a recording from the 720p webcam from the Dual 16. This is the video and audio unedited so I can hear and see what the quality of the webcam is like. And as always, I've got two type slots currently turned on. I've got my one stereo light turned on and also the down lights in this room turned on for ambience. I'm going to turn off my one stereo light off and the two down lights in front of me is a bit far away so there's not much light here on my face. So this is what I consider a dark environment. Now if you're in an office environment, you should get much more light than what I'm currently at. And I'm going to turn my one stereo light back on you see this adjust, and of course, better quality light should give you better quality picture. Definitely love to hear what your thoughts of this webcam. Put a comment below. Measuring the color gamut coverage of the main display in the Dual 16 with a rating of 600 nits of brightness or luminance, 
which actually measured in at 630 nits. It resulted with 100% sRGB coverage, 78.6% Adobe RGB coverage, and 93.1% DCI P3 coverage. The Zephyrus Dual 16 comes with a 91 hour battery. And I managed to get 5 hours and 50 minutes for the modern office battery life test in PC Mark 10, 1 hour and 28 minutes for gaming, and 6 hours and 53 minutes for video playback in the Procon battery life test. Considering the Dual 16 is powering two screens and also housing the powerful RTX 3080 Ti graphics, which consumes a lot of power, compared to its competitors, the other gaming laptops, it is doing extremely well for battery life. Let's have a little stability performance of the processor in the Dual 16. This particular one's configured with the AMD Ryzen 9 6900HX processor and looking on the AMD website, it reports has a maximum boost clock of up to 4.9 GHz for this processor and a base clock speed of 3.3 GHz and it runs around about 45 Watt TDP. Now I've got this computer connected to mains power and set the fan mode to pretty much turbo profile and I've got pretty much a lot of load on the processor, memory, as well as the SSD, and also the discrete graphics for over nine hours. And I can see from the speed of the processor here, it's reporting anywhere between 3.8 to about 4.3 gigahertz. So I'm gonna average that around about four gigahertz for that would be the stable clock speed, but it does range between that. And we have what I would say, I'm gonna give an average temperature of about 85 degrees Celsius for the operating temperature of this processor while it's running on this load. And again, it's still way above the 3.3 gigahertz, so which is the base clock, so we don't have thermal throttling and we are getting a little bit of boost throttling, but we're getting closer to its maximum at 4.3 and we do have also the discrete graphics running on a lot of low which creates a lot of heat as well too so i think the thermal solution provided by azus is done very well on this particular computer the keyboard and trackpad is very similar to the zenbook pro dual but unlike the pro dual which was targeted towards office productivity work and businesses the dual 16 is targeted more towards gamers by having these nice pretty lights for the rgb backlit keys which you can also configure in the Azus Armor Crate for different color schemes. The top row keys reflects the ROG layout and function of those keys. We've got good tactile and travel distance on each individual keys and each individual keys has a smooth surface. I'll consider these medium sized keys and we've got good spacing in between. With the trackpad, it pretty much looks and feels and functions very similar to the Zenbook Pro Dual trackpad. On the very top left hand corner, if you just press it down there, you'll actually see that the trackpad will double up as a number pad, which I think is a very ingenious and innovative function of the trackpad. And it is still mechanical, so you can depress at the bottom and it's hinged at the top. And for the feel of the surface of the trackpad, it is very glass-like and silky smooth texture. Here's the benchmarks results for the Zephyrus Dual 16. This one's configured with an AMD Ryzen 9 6900 HX processor with 32 gigs of RAM, one terabyte SSD, and the GeForce RTX 3080 Ti. Here's the results for Passmark, CityBench R23, PC Mark, 3D Mark, Geekbench 5, Crystal Disk Mark, Procon Office, Procon Photo Edit, Procon Video Edit, Pugin Photoshop. Pugin Lightroom, Pugin Premiere Pro, Pugin After Effects, Pugin DaVinci Resolve, Blender, Luxmark, Furmark, Compute Bench, Octane Bench, Eugene Engine, and Spec View Pref. And some gaming benchmarks like Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Far Cry New Dawn, Far Cry 6. Immortal Phoenix Rising and F1 2021. Let's have a look at the internals of the Dual 16. First, you need to unscrew the 13 
torque screw screws, so you do need a special screwdriver for that. Now there is a hidden screw in the middle and it's hidden behind a rubber bit, so I need to just pry that rubber bit open and then you can then see the last screw and then just make sure you unscrew that. Also, if you're trying to remove this, you could actually crack this whole back case. Anyway. I've done undid this one already. And of course you can just pry from the sides and then work away from the front and then from the sides to the back here. I've just done did this to speed up time and we've got a 90 watt hour battery on the bottom here and the battery connector is right here. So if you need to disconnect the battery, if you're working on the computer or just doing some diagnostic on the power issues for this laptop. Now above the left hand side of the battery we've got the first primary slot of M.2 for the SSD and then on the right hand side we've got the secondary slot of M.2 for the another SSD so you can upgrade the storage later on and then above the battery in the middle we've got two slots of sodium slots for the RAM or the memory. Now above that is the CPU and then on the right hand side is the discrete graphics and you'll see the actual big hex system system which is quite intricate and then we've got a dual fan system here and we can also see that the heat sink is also covering the vram as well so that's good to see that they've actually thought about that overall the zephyrus dual 16 has some very good features like the dual screen which i really do love and also the double function trackpad that doubles up as a number pad and also calculator as well. We've got some very nice pretty lights on the keyboard with RGB lights and we've got good selection of ports and we've got great performance and also good temperatures as well. So I definitely can recommend it to any gamers out there as well as any consumer that is looking for a really nice computer has good functionality as well. So I hope you find this video informative or enjoyed it. If you did, it is support my channel. Smash that like button for me. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, but hit the subscribe button on the screen. I do try to upload a new video every week. And also, if you want to support me further, I have an awesome membership by clicking that join button right next to the subscribe button. I try to do a little bit of extra for those guys there. And as always, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. And I'll see you next video.